Hi friend, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce an isolated MOSFET driver circuit that uses a ferrite transformer combined with a totem pole stage, providing powerful and safe MOSFET driving capability. This circuit is divided into several main functional blocks. First, we have the power supply block, which converts to 120 volts AC down to 15 volts DC. Next is the 12 volts DC regulator block. The control and pulse generation are handled by the SG35-5 IC. Then we have the totem pole stage, built with ABD139 and ABD140 transistor pair. And finally, a ferrite transformer is used to drive the MOSFET. Here is the output waveform of the circuit, operating at around 40 kHz. The circuit provides two identical channels of this waveform, which can be used to drive MOSFET or IGBT. When driving a MOSFET or an IGBT, there's always a parasitic capacitance between the gate and source, and this alters the waveform. I'll use a 103 capacitor, which is 10 NF, to emulate the parasitic capacitance between gate and source. This value is much larger than in a real device, so that we can clearly see how parasitic capacitance affects the waveform. The measured value on the meter is about 10,000 PF. Now, I'll connect this capacitor to the circuit output, so we can observe how the waveform changes on the meter. The waveform now looks better. The sharp peaks have been removed. This is a good waveform for driving MOSFET and IGBT. If you're interested, I'll show you how to build it right after introducing my partner and sponsor, JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high-precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6-layer PCBS for just $5, plus to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is the box I received from JLCPCB. Inside, everything is neatly packed and well protected, ensuring the board stays safe during shipping. PCB from JLCPCB are of excellent quality, smooth surface, even copper coating, sharp traces, and precise drill holes, making soldering easy. They also offer many options for PCB colors and thickness, making them great for both DIY projects and professional production. This is the power supply section. You can use any 15 volts DC supply of around 20W in this circuit. I use an LM7812 to regulate the output down to 12 volts DC. Here is the circuit's output voltage, which is 12 volts DC, while the input from my main supply is 220 volts AC. Here are the resistors and diodes I've assembled. Their values are clearly shown on the PCB or in the schematic. They include 10 ohms for 0.7 ohms and for 170 ohms resistors, along with one on for one for eight diodes. Next, I'll connect the remaining components, which are a 1F capacitor, a 470F capacitor, and a 100 for capacitor. Pay close attention to the component values, as they are very important for the circuit to work properly. 
This is the totem pole transistor pair, BD139 and BD140. This is the PWM circuit using the SG35-5IC that I introduced in the previous video. Now, I'll connect it to the circuit. This is the output waveform from the SG35-5IC. It has two channels with similar waveforms. This is the output waveform as you're passing through the totem stage to drive the ferrite transformer. This is a ferrite core with dimensions 25.5 mm outer diameter, 12.5 mm thickness, and 14.4 mm inner diameter. The core material is PC40. I'm using Ethernet CAT5 cable stripping out the inner core, which consists of multiple small insulated wires to wind the transformer. You can use an amyled copper wire or regular electrical wire, but make sure the wires are insulated from each other. I'll wind a total of 10 turns. I'll use the circuit to drive to MOSFET, powering a transformer that steps 12 volts up to 220 volts to light a bulb. An oscilloscope is connected so we can observe the waveform while the circuit is running. As you can see, the waveform remains stable and doesn't change when I power up the inverter, which shows the circuit is working very well. If you found this video helpful and want to see more projects like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to support my channel.